Hey, what's up, guys? It's Junior here from Plains Guitar. Today, I'll be showing you how to play rock by Olami Day. So, as you can tell, I was playing this song in the original key. Um, there were some bar chords involved. Actually, one bar chord, um, which was the G minor. Um, you can play the other chords just as an open chord. But um, I'll also show you how to play it without using any bar chord at all. Although you will have to have a capo and move your capo straight down to the sixth fret to be in the original key if you can't sing in that key is good you can easily just move the chords around so let me start off with the first one that i was playing with so if that's easy for you then you can stay with that one if not i will show you an easier version so we'll start off with the f okay i'm using my f bar chord or you can use your, the other f okay you're just doing a mini bar on the first to string okay um then we have f and then we have the d minor okay um and then we have the g minor okay and then we have the c um to play the f start off with just barring your first two string the e and the b string on the first fret your next finger will be on the G second fret. Your ring finger will be on the D third fret. You pick from the D, okay? And then the next one will be your D minor. So first finger down on the E string of the first fret, second finger up on the um, G string, second fret, and then you have your ring finger on the B um, third fret. You strum from the D. Okay, to the G minor, you're barring your third fret right here with your first finger. Your ring finger then go on the um, sixth fret, um, on the A string, pinky, on the sixth fret, on the D string. You strum everything. And then C, um, first finger on the B string of the first fret, second finger on the D second fret. Um, your ring finger on the A, third fret. You strum from the A. Okay, so that's how you play this chord. And like I said, this is the easier version one I want to show you now. If you place a capo on the sixth fret, um, so sixth fret is right here. You can see it's a little bit awkward trying to play it here. So if you can sing in any other key, that would be great. You can just shift your capo back to fit your own singing range. But for the purpose of this lesson and and trying to stay with stay with the key so i'm going to show you in this one so we start off on the c okay so c here and then you have the a minor okay play the a minor start with, with your first finger on the first fret second finger on the on the d second fret and then your ring finger on the g you pick oops and you pick from the a then you have the D minor okay so the D minor um, you start off here with your first finger on the um, on the E string on the first fret and then second finger on the um, on the <laughs> on the G second fret and your ring finger on the B third fret okay and the next one will be your G Okay, so G, you have your first finger on the A string of the second fret, second finger on the third fret on the E string. I'm using the four finger G, so which we, then you have your ring finger on the B, okay, of the um, third fret and your pinky on the E third fret. You strum down, okay, so one more time, C, A minor. D minor and then the G okay and like I said if you want to move the capo down to fit your fit your singing range you can easily do that you can move the capo even down the third fret play exactly the same chord progression okay A, A, um, C A minor D minor G just know that the key has not changed if you can sing it this key that's fine mm -hmm. 
So now I'm just going to go back to um, the original key on um, the original version I was playing. I'm just going to show you the strumming pattern I'm using. So right there, I'm just playing. Dun, 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 up, mute. Okay. Dun, up, dun, up, dun, 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 up, mute. Dun, up, dun, up, dun. Minor. Again, I'm playing, trying to avoid those two last strings. I'm not playing that, so. Same thing if you move a capo down, there's no magic, it's exactly the same thing I'm playing here. It's just okay. One thing I'm gonna mention is that. When you're doing your palm muting, you need to rest your your um your palm just on the guitar. Okay, that's why it's called palm muting. So you're not hearing the string ring out. If I'm not using, if I'm not putting my palm there, you'll be hearing something like this. If you rest your palm, you have because my palm is muting the strings. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so um, I think that will be everything really, to be honest. So that's how you play the songs. Um, so I really hope you enjoy it and you find it useful. If you have, please don't forget to show your support by subscribing to my channel and also by sharing and liking my videos. And um, also don't forget to leave your song request. See you guys in the next song. Bye.